Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where the past comes alive with facts, anecdotes, and a dash of humor. Here are your hosts, Chuck and Marco. Welcome to another episode of the History AI Podcast. I'm your host Chuck. And I'm Marco. Today we're diving deep into the life of a revolutionary figure. Someone whose role in the American Revolution and the Battle of Lexington cannot be understated. We're talking about the legendary Captain John Parker. Oh boy, Captain John Parker. You know Marco, if history was a movie, this guy would be the gritty protagonist who never said much but always got the job done. Ha, true Chuck. But before we get into the heroics, let's start where every story should, the beginning. Captain John Parker was born in Lexington, Massachusetts in 1732. As for his family history, the Parkers were among the earliest settlers of Massachusetts. That's right. Early settlers. That means no GPS, no Yelp reviews for best places to settle. Just pure, unadulterated pioneering spirit. Absolutely. Parker grew up in what could be called the typical frontier life. Facing hardships, battling the wild, and just growing up sturdy. And sturdy he was. Did you know that besides his military achievements, Parker was also a farmer and a mechanic? Talk about multi-talented. Indeed. From plowing the fields to fixing the tools, Parker was your quintessential Renaissance man. But let's not forget about his role in the French and Indian War. Ah yes, that was the training ground for many who would later take part in the revolution. Parker served as a sergeant in the provincial army during that conflict. For those unaware, the French and Indian War was essentially a colonial skirmish that grew into a global conflict. It pitted the British against the French with Native American tribes often playing crucial roles on both sides. Right. And while Parker's participation in this war might not have been in headlines, it did shape his view of the British. Some say it's what pushed him towards the Patriot cause later. But what made Parker, and indeed many like him, choose the Patriot side? It wasn't just about taxes or tea, though the British sure had a knack for taxing anything that moved. It was about liberty, representation, and self-governance. And perhaps Parker saw the seeds of tyranny in the British actions during the French and Indian War. I can imagine him sipping on his tea, saying you can tax this when you pry it from my cold dead hands. Classic Chuck. But, moving on, the event that cemented Parker's legacy was undeniably the Battle of Lexington. Absolutely. April 19, 1775. It was here that Parker, leading the Lexington militia, confronted British forces. His legendary command, stand your ground, don't fire unless fired upon, showcased his leadership and restraint. It's a testament to his character. He wanted to stand against oppression, but not provoke unnecessary conflict. Unfortunately, as we know, shots were fired. While the details remain debated, this confrontation at Lexington Green marked the beginning of the American Revolution. And Parker, despite battling tuberculosis, continued to play a role in the revolution. He led his men in several more engagements, making sure the British knew that the colonists weren't just going to lie down. True grit, that's what that was. But it wasn't all warfare. Parker's life after the revolution saw him returning to his hometown, contributing to its community as a farmer and mechanic until his death in 1775. It's a testament to the man's character. He fought when he needed to, but he also knew the value of peace and community. All right, folks. Before we discuss Parker's lasting impact and more, a quick word from our sponsor. Wave goodbye to sugar-loaded boosts and say hello to Strike Force Energy. The energy drink additive revolutionizing how you power up, all without a single calorie or sugar. Just a squeeze, and you're set for action. Ready to make the switch? Visit StrikeForceEnergy.com. And for our listeners, spark your savings with an exclusive 20% discount. Just use code UTSALAX24 at checkout. Remember, UTSALAX24. Strike Force Energy, elevate every sip. Welcome back to the History AI Podcast. So Marco, Captain John Parker, what's the legacy? Well Chuck, his leadership at Lexington was emblematic of the broader colonial spirit. His determination, despite his failing health, inspired many. His name and his actions have become synonymous with the early drive for American independence. And while he may not have the same international recognition as, say George Washington or Thomas Jefferson, 
within Lexington and among history buffs he's a revered figure. Absolutely. And remember the Minuteman statue at Lexington Battle Green? That's inspired by Captain John Parker. It's amazing how one man's stand can inspire generations. From history teachers to tour guides, everyone loves a good Parker story. Speaking of which, did you hear about the time Parker tried to fix a British cannon? Oh no I haven't. Do tell. Well, rumor has it he looked at the cannon and said, even I can't fix this, they've made a right mess of it. Ah classic Parker humor. If that even happened. But it sounds like something he'd say. As we wrap up, let's remember that Captain John Parker represents the unsung heroes of history. The ones who stood their ground, played their part, and while they might not have made international headlines, their impact resonated through the ages. A mechanic, a farmer, a soldier, and a legend. That was Captain John Parker for you. Thanks for joining us today on the History AI Podcast. We hope you learned something new and had a chuckle or two. Be sure to follow, rate, and share the podcast. Until next time, keep diving into history and remember, there's always more to the story.